What's up, everybody? It's your boy Kahuna Silver here on YouTube, man. Too much Nintendo news has been happening throughout the course of the week, and I haven't reported on none of it. Now, I did report on something, and I didn't really want to report on that something. But you know, I have some valid points in that video, and I'm still pissed I made that video. Um, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started to some of this news, man. Too much Nintendo news, there's a lot of news, rumors, and everything. This, uh, this past week, it was just crazy for Nintendo, man. First of all, let's start off with the actual news. Um, Nintendo said the, the Switch has become the fastest selling system in the US, beating out the PS2 and the Wii, which y'all all know are the top two home consoles those who sold the most out of all these systems out here the Wii and the PlayStation 2. And we want to even go further with that, since the uh, Switch is also handheld. There's also the DS, which also was just shy of a million under PS3. That's insane. That's insane. And that is crazy. And I think it's um, I think it's good for Nintendo that the Switch is selling so well. It gives more people, it gives more people opportunities, you know, to play uh, play more Nintendo, man. It gives more opportunity to Nintendo because now they are here announcing that there's more third party coming their way from. EA, Ubisoft, um, Activision, which I'm really curious to see what they have on hand. If this is another Skylander, count me out. There's some more Call of Duty, I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that Call of Duty. And, and Take Two. Take Two, man, it's been a mixed bag because Take Two, a lot of stuff I want to see from Take Two, like Red Dead, Grand Theft Auto, Bioshock. Oh my god, Bioshock Infinite on Switch, I would love, especially the remaster that's on Xbox One. And PlayStation 4, I would love to see the whole collection come to Switch. Um, it, it's it's kind of crazy, man. But I, I want to hear about those Japanese developers, man. I want to see how they are rapping. I want to see how they're doing for the Switch, man. You know, Capcom kind of redeemed themselves with Mega Man 11 and the Street Fighter collection. You know, all that stuff. I want to see what, what's coming out of Japan. What's the developers? You know. I I I've seen that they if they're gonna help us in the I mean I know Bethesda's on board like completely but we still got Wolfenstein coming out this year. Something I cannot wait like. So anywho, that's good news for Nintendo that the console is selling very well and the plus they're still expecting more third party support. That's great. However, there's are some rumors coming out. Now let's talk about some of these rumors <laughs> coming out, man. So of course the biggest rumor going around in the Nintendo community is Nintendo Power Direct coming soon. Next week on the 11th, maybe. Um, I had made a previous video. I erased that video because I thought it was poorly done. But um, I think that we're getting a uh, direct along the 10th to the 12th. That's my time frame. I'm putting it in. So we have the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. So we should expect the Nintendo Direct. And plus the five, the um, the if you have, if you haven't followed EA, they are releasing an indie game called Five on Switch, and they're gonna um be presented there. Now they had an email that leaked talking about the January direct, and on New Year's Day, no, New Year's Eve actually. Amazon listed 18 unlisted, well, numbers are all over the place. That's 27, 21, 18. I'm going to stick to 18 because that's the most plausible. 18 unannounced Switch games on their website. They listed those and they quickly snapped them down just like that. And that was crazy for us because maybe there is a direct coming soon. And then people are talking about Pokemon and Metroid and Bayonetta coming out this year. And Part of me saying some of this stuff is 2019 stuff. There's only one of these games that can be a 2018 game. There's no way that Nintendo is going to release Bayonetta, Metroid, and Pokemon the same year. That's not happening. And, I'm, and you know, I'm just highly skeptical. So it's hard to say what's going on. I heard that um, it's, it's 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 crazy because Nintendo has you know during the um during the investors meeting. They have, you know, kind of, you know, released a whole b a bunch of games. Like, they have, uh, they always had this paper of the upcoming of the releases. And the reason why I say Pokemon is most likely because 
I heard there's a rumor that Pokemon is being pressured to be out this year. Now, Pokemon has been worked since Sun and Moon rep development, and it's been hit led by the older team, not the younger team. The younger team just got down with Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, as you all know. Now, there's pressure for Pokemon to be out this year. That's why I'm calling Pokemon this year or next year or later. Yeah, but since the paper said Pokemon 2018 or two or later, I'm I'm calling 2018 maybe the year. If not, then what up? Then all all well. What can I say? At least we get Fire Emblem this year. I think you know this direct that people are talking about this year is kind of crazy. Now another rumor that's been going around, followed by a video that was posted, which people been spotting out that fakes. At this time, the video been written off as fake because there are a lot of errors. But though, the thing is. It's beta. It was a beta build that was, uh, was that was being showed 5.0 or 00, 00. That's been um pointed out. It's a beta build out there. That basically that's the only thing that's keeping this alive for me. The fact that they said beta, it means that of course there's going to be a lot of mistakes in there because it's a beta build of the software. Yeah, and that is the reason why I'm still holding out for this to be true. Feel me? And not only that. The Switch is going to have a bunch of maintenance done on this internet service this next, this past few weeks, man. It's going to have a bunch of this, all this crap getting done on it. So that lets me believe that the firmware may be, may be leading to all this um this maintenance coming up in, um, I think it's this week or next week. It was just, it was released this morning about when the um, maintenance is going to be, who knows what's going on. But yeah, man, there's a lot going on with, with, with Nintendo, with the war of Nintendo, and it's a big thing because I'm a Nintendo fan. I love the Nintendo Switch. I have my Switch now. Uh, I'm, a, I'm still loving you, Wii U. Don't worry, I love you. You, the, the reason why you're on my shelf right now is because I love you, and I want to have you in every video. Sorry, my Wii U is right there where my Switch was last week. <laughs> so anywho. Hmm. Let's hope that Nintendo can keep this momentum going. Cause this is, I love to see Nintendo's position. This is a beautiful position for Nintendo to be in. I think it's one of the best um, positions to be in when it's Nintendo, man. I love to see innovation take over when it's done right. So, anywho, it's your boy Kona Sarah. I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces.